My great-grandmother, Dido Helen Cervantes Vlacos, had a very interesting life. She was born in 1910 in New York City, but lived on three other continents by the time she was 12. She also survived a genocide in Smyrna, now a modern-day Ishmir, Turkey, in 1922. Here is her story. Dido Helen Cervantes was born in New York City on July 15, 1910. She was the third child of Greek immigrants from Smyrna, Asia Minor. John Cervantes and Themis Negroponte's Cervantes. When she entered school, her name was changed to Helen. The school officials felt her name was too ethnic and made her use her middle name. Helen insisted. When 10 years old, her parents decided to move back to Smyrna. She had attended British school because she didn't speak any Greek. She grew up in a time in America when immigrants were discouraged from speaking the language of their old country. People were expected to assimilate. The Cervantes family picked a bad time to move back to Smyrna in 1920. The new leader of Turkey, Ad Turk, decided to expel all the non-ethnic Turks from Turkey. My great-grandma witnessed the burning of Smyrna in 1922. She remembered being carried over dead bodies in the water by a British soldier to the ship. She and her family were able to leave because they were American citizens. Actually, her father was not. He had to buy passage on a French ship. The family reunited in Egypt in 1923. Before returning to the U.S., she lived in Greece, the fourth continent, in her first 13 years of life. She returned to America and attended the Hermos High School and then Drake Business School. She married Straits Flacos in, on July 1, 1934, in Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral in New York City. They ran a bar and grill called Charlie's and raised six children in Forest Hills, Queens. At the age of 42, Helen was widowed and had to raise six children under the age of 16 by herself. Even though she died before I was born, I felt like I knew her. My family tells stories about her and she lives on the family recipes we make, like lentil soup and pastizio.